Hi, I'm Shamsia Mohammadi and I'm an immigration lawyer here at Work Visa Lawyers. As some of you may know, the Administrative Review Tribunal, or the ART, has officially replaced the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, the AAT. This change happened on the 14th of October this year and it's aimed at making the independent merits review process more efficient and accessible for people. We understand that any change within the Australian migration area can be confusing, so in this video I'll talk about some of the common appeal situations situations and what you can do. If you submitted your application for review with the AAT on or before the 13th of October this year, you actually don't have to do anything as your case would have automatically transferred to the new tribunal. Your appeal process will then continue at the ART until you receive a decision. If, for example, the decision is negative, you may be able to appeal the ART's decision in court through judicial review. But one thing to keep in mind is that when you apply for judicial review, your bridging visa does not automatically continue, so you'll need to lodge a bridging visa application before your current visa expires. On the other hand, we understand that some of you may have just received a visa refusal. This can be really disappointing and you may be confused about what you can do. If you're in this situation, you may be able to appeal the decision depending on your circumstances. Your visa refusal letter will generally state whether you have merits review rights. To appeal the decision by the Department of Home Affairs, you can apply for a review on the ART website. You'll need to make sure to lodge your appeal within the time limit that's written in your refusal letter. After you've lodged your appeal with the ART, you'll generally get a bridging visa that will allow you to stay in Australia until you get a decision on your appeal. The key thing with any appeal is to make sure you're within the time frame for the appeal, otherwise your application might not be valid. If you're not sure about how much time you have to appeal the decision or have any other questions, it's a good idea to get advice from a migration lawyer or a migration agent as early as possible. Please feel free to contact us and we would love to help you. You can also subscribe to our channel or follow us on our Instagram and TikTok for more migration updates. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video helpful.